Would you like to know if employers care more about your certifications or your skills? If so, this video is for you. My name is Michael Gibbs, and I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Careers. And I've been working in technology now for well over 25 years, and I've spent more than two decades helping people just like you get your first tech job or get promoted in tech. And I want to answer the question of certification versus skills for you. And I want to give you the perspective from the hiring manager perspective, because I've been both the individual contributor, like the network engineer, the cloud architect, the network architect, the enterprise architect, and I've also been the manager that hires people. And when you look at it from the manager perspective versus the worker perspective, we often see things differently. And since I want you to either get the best jobs or get promoted, I want you to be able to understand it from the hiring manager perspective. So let's talk about why employers hire. Employers hire because they have work to be done. Whether they need a cloud architect to say design their cloud systems, or they need a cloud engineer to build their cloud systems, or they need some sysops people to maintain their systems, or even some cloud security people to secure their systems. Employers hire because they have work to be done. And what an employer will do is they will look at the amount of work that needs to be done, they will look at their current staffing and say, do I have the people with the skills to get the work done? And if the answer is yes, they don't hire. If the answer is no, and they need people to do more work or bring in additional skills, then the employer hires. So when you understand things from the employer perspective, it'll help you manage your career much better. The key to remember is the employer hires because they have work to be done. So, Understanding that, let's talk about certifications versus skills. If the employer has work to be done, they care about your ability to do the job and they care about your ability to do it well. If you can't do the job, it doesn't matter if you have three PhDs and 100 certifications. Sadly, they can't hire you. But if you can do the job and you can do it well, you could and should be hired, assuming you do a good job on the interview. So think about that. Now, does this mean that we should only focus on skills and not certifications? No, because you are certified and you can do the job because you've got the good skills. Now you're really in a good place and we'll talk about that. But let's go back to the certifications versus skills. Do certifications give you the skills to do the job? Because the key is if you can have both certifications and skills, then you're really good. Certifications will build your brand and help you get an interview and the skills will get you hired. So, Let's think about this and evaluate this. There are some certifications that are so challenging that after completing these certifications, you generally have good skills. My favorite example of a certification that builds your skills is the Cisco Certified Internet Expert, otherwise known as the CCIE. This is an incredibly challenging exam. People take it every single day. And after 30 years, Cisco was only certified about 65,000 Cisco Certified Internet Experts. And if you pass that exam, chances are you've got really good skills and hiring managers know that. So if you've got a CCI in your resume and you're applying for, say, a network engineering job, chances are you're going to get an interview and chances are you've got great skills to actually get hired. But what about other kinds of certifications? What about some of the AWS certifications, for example, or some basic certifications? Well, here's the challenge. You can easily pass these exams and still not have any of the skills to do the job. I'll give you the example of the cloud architect. If you were to take an AWS Solutions Architect Professional exam, you'll learn the name of an AWS service and how to configure that. But what you will do in your job will have absolutely nothing to do with that. For example, that cloud architect will interview the executive team of an organization to find their business goals and their business vision. That cloud architect, again, would then go to understand the business, how the business operates, and then uh, the business processes that exist. And that cloud architect after that would then help re-architect the business processes or how things get done. And then after that, the cloud architect, for example, would learn and examine the organization's current technology and then redesign a technology strategy based upon that organization's goals and needs. That will include a lot of documentation, a lot of vendor relationship, a lot of stakeholder management, a lot of presentation skills, writing skills, and sales skills. And there's much more that goes into the cloud architect role, but none of these things are covered in the AWS Solutions Architect Professional. 
So that doesn't mean those exams aren't worth it. They're very worth it. It gives you the opportunity to learn some AWS things, some AWS features and functionality, but don't count on that exam getting you the skills to get the job. You're gonna have to learn those skills on your own. So certifications plus skills is honestly a beautiful recipe, but certifications, especially the weaker ones, and why are they weaker ones? They're weaker ones because they may have free exam retakes, and when there's free exam retakes, many more people can pass them. And when we've got a lot of people that can pass an exam, especially if it doesn't have the required skills, it loses its value. You can also, for some of the easier exams, buy a copy of the exam from certain test providers and literally go memorize the questions and answers to the test and go take the test. And there are also people that will take some of these more basic exams for you. So what do we do? Do we skip certification? No, don't skip your certifications because certifications will build your brand and help you get an interview. I suggest you get two to three very difficult, very challenging, big certifications. The certifications that will help you get skills and the certifications that are going to build your brand because most people want to attempt them. And that'll make it more likely for you to get the good interviews and it will show you as someone that's willing to work and go above and beyond. And that's something that every hiring manager needs on their team. Now, continuing our discussion earlier in your career, the certifications are much more significant because they will help you get those interviews when your resume or your CV and your LinkedIn profile are lacking. As you move up in your career, you go from typically hands-on doing things to planning things. And that's why there's not gonna be any certifications for a CEO or a CIO or an EVP. So, leverage certifications, build your brand, and also focus on developing the skills for your career. Do that and you have the winning combination, have an incredible technical career. If you desire to become a cloud architect or an enterprise architect or an AI architect, we've got free documents in the description of this video that will help you learn the right skills, learn how to build your career, and they're completely free for you. We also have free webinars where we talk about certain types of tech careers. You can come join us on Zoom. You can ask us questions and we'll do anything we can to help you. But all of these webinars are completely free. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your technology career. This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thanks, guys.